Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. Recently, OnePlus launched two phones. One was OnePlus Nord 5 and second was OnePlus Nord CE5. So today in this video, we'll be talking about 25 plus new features, settings, tips and tricks for both these two devices. OnePlus is slowly adding the OG Oxygen OS features also. We'll talk about that change too. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here towards the left hand side, I have my OnePlus Nord CE5 and towards the right hand side, we have OnePlus Nord 5. Both the devices are running on the latest build of Oxygen OS 15. By the way guys, before moving ahead, if you guys find our content useful to you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing. So if you guys remember, with OnePlus 13S, OnePlus did add this plus key. Though the plus key is not available on OnePlus Nord CE5 but it has been added on OnePlus Nord 5. And let me show you what all you can do with this plus key. So inside the settings, you have a dedicated section for plus key, which lets you switch sound profiles like sound, vibration, silent. Then we have this mind space. We'll talk about this feature also. Other than that, you can trigger DND. You have the option to trigger camera. And from here, you can also select the mode. Like by default, it's set to photos. You can select portrait, retouch selfie, video, pro mode. So whenever you tap this button, depending on the selection you have made, that thing will open up. Then we we have the torch option followed by recorder you can directly access translate feature in which we do have options like you know you can open up the camera option conversation live and screen about translate application we'll talk in the later part of the video then we have an option to take a screenshot and if you want you can completely disable this button which says no action now talking about the mind space feature so this feature will be coming to other oneplus smartphones also but will have a gesture Yesterday, OnePlus 13 series got this update, which includes this feature of Mind Space, in which we don't have a physical button. On OnePlus 13, we have alert slider. So instead of that, you have the ability to trigger Mind Space using three finger gesture. And once you trigger Mind Space for the first time, the shortcut will be added to your home screen. Though there is no dedicated application for this currently, you need to access everything using the home screen shortcut. So basically what it does, it recognizes the screen content. Let's take an example here. I'm trying to book a flight. I'll select the origin from Bangalore to New Delhi. I've selected the date. I'll add things like student. And now if I use plus key or three finger gesture, the mind space will trigger and you can see it says analyzing. Once the analyzing is complete, travel info added it says. Tapping on it, it will open up the mind space and here it will give you this summary like origin Bangalore, destination New Delhi, number of passengers traveling, discount, senior station, armed forces etc with the hashtag and it will also give you a recommendation to add it in the calendar so that you don't miss out on the event. So this way you can capture anything present on your device screen. This feature is available on both the devices OnePlus Nord CE5 and OnePlus Nord 5. After that starting from OnePlus 13S, now all the OnePlus smartphones will be getting OnePlus Talk Dialer. So here in my case I have the SIM card on this device which is OnePlus Nord CE5 and here we have the OnePlus Talk Dialer. Similar way we have it on OnePlus Nord 5 also. And in this we have features like you can use AI call assistant, tapping on it, it will give you two options. One is call summary and the second one is translate. So tapping on call summary, the entire summary of the conversation will be saved in the notes application. You do have options to select the languages. Currently, it doesn't support much of languages, but Hindi language have been added. After that, we also have a call translate feature. So for example, if someone is calling you in a different language and you don't understand that particular language, you can select the other party language. And from here, you can also select your language. So the entire conversation will be seen here on the screen. And this way you can easily interact with the other party. Along with that, call recording option is also there. And you also get option to record calls automatically, which can be set from the call recording settings you can see we have an option called record all calls and when we are talking about the phone application there's this feature called clear voice it can be found in the sound settings from here once it is enabled it will filter out the background noise for better communication so this feature is also available on both the devices now in the launcher they have bought the og oxygen os feature which i was waiting from a long time and that's swipe right on the home screen to trigger OnePlus shelf. Previously, this was an option present here, swipe down on the home screen. But now we have got a dedicated setting like whenever you swipe towards the right hand side, instead of opening the Google Discover, we'll have the OnePlus shelf. And this has been added on both the devices. It is yet to be added on OnePlus 13 series, which got the July update. I did check out that feature is still not been added. And for the control center, we do have the options to customize. Like after opening the control center, tap on customize quick settings. And now we have two options here. One is split and the second one is classic. So depending on what you like, I personally started liking the split one. If you have enabled the split one, swiping down from the right top side will open up the control center. Swiping down from the left hand side will open up notification page. And in the classic mode, we do have an option to change the tile shape. 
which is not available in the splits mode. I hope OnePlus gives an option to change the tile shape in the splits mode too. On both the devices, we do have the option of stack notifications on the home screen and on the lock screen. But on the lock screen, there's another option which you guys can find it out. So by default, if that thing is not enabled, go to notification and quick settings, tap on lock screen, and from here select numbers so instead of you seeing all the notifications on the home screen you'll see the numbers with the app icon towards the bottom side and this is how they will look on the lock screen with the number of notification counts along with the application icon and tapping on it it will open up in the pop-up view after that oneplus also brings the support of stacked widgets currently it is only being supported by oneplus stock applications third-party applications are not supported right now but now you can place multiple widgets on each other so here you can see i have placed few widgets long pressing on it you do get the option to expand stack widgets and this is how it looks and similar way you can create stack widgets for square shaped tiles similar way we have also got the stack recents page but here we don't have the support of haptic feedback so if you want to use haptic feedback in the recents page you can change it to the classic one that can be done by going to the launcher setting scroll down tap on manage apps and from here you can select the flat recents page over here we do have the haptic feedback and many of you guys are not aware how to add five applications in the app drawer so you just have to go to the home screen layout and from here select the drawer layout as five applications by default it's selected to four so you'll have four applications here but once you select five then you'll have five applications in the app drawer this one looks more neat and soon you get your oneplus smartphone i mean nord 5 or nord ce5 there are few bloatwares which are installed things like phone pay application internet services etc but the good thing is you can long press and uninstall those application if you don't use them you can easily uninstall them and get a bloatware free experience but things like o roaming which can't be uninstalled so you do have an option to disable so the applications which you are not able to uninstall you can easily disable them now let's talk about the customization options so oneplus did not add much of customizations yet with oxygen 16 we are getting a lot of customization options but i'll show you a few examples here so in the flux theme let's take this example and here you can see we do have options like depth effect if you apply depth effect the text goes behind the subject and it looks very neat after that you do have some styling options where you can add the blur effect you have some glass patterns which can be selected here which can be applied from here later on you do have options to change the wallpaper and you can also change the text present here though we don't have the option to add custom text but yes the text what is present here in the flux theme can be changed similar way we have the option to customize the clock style where you can also add additional information like weather, step counter, change the clock font and the alphabet size along with the colors. Directly from the Flux theme, you can swipe right to customize the home screen. And if you swipe towards the right hand side, you can customize the always on display. There are two always on display. One is the seamless and this looks really good. And the second one is classic, which is basic one. If you tap on apply, let me show you how does it look. So this is how it looks whenever you wake up the device screen. But sadly on OnePlus Nord CE5, we don't have the true always on display. So let me show you if you go to wallpapers and style section, tapping on always on display, you can see there's no option of true always on display. We have a basic one and this is how it looks once you lock the device. Even if I change the flux theme, it's the same story. And this always on display disappears after few minutes. But I hope OnePlus do as the true always on display on OnePlus Nord CE5. In always on display, we don't have much of customization options. We have similar stuff like 6 personalized styles and 7 system styles. But now finally, Edge Lightning can be used for the incoming calls also. Previously, after getting Google Dialer on OnePlus smartphones, this feature was useless. But now, after having the OnePlus Stock Dialer, you can use the Edge Lightning. And I hope OnePlus in future gives options to customize the color of Edge Lightning. Currently, we only have 3 color palettes and we cannot make changes in the colors. I'm expecting with Oxygen OS 16, we'll get that change. After that, there are 2 new icon packs which are added and both of them looks really good if you're using the radiance one it mostly changes all the oneplus stock application icons and this is the shadowed one which gives you a black background you guys let me know which icon pack you'd like then under fingerprint animation we do have similar stuff when we're talking about the colors so there's this new option on oneplus smartphones after oxygen os 15 called two tone and it gives the vibe of og oxygen os so once this is applied you'll have the black and white theme in the entire ui you consider the control center or the settings Page. Also, OnePlus have added this new feature called Gloves Mode, which can be found here in the accessibility. So if you're someone who travels in, you know, places where it's too cold and you always have to wear gloves, you just enable this feature 
and you'll be able to interact with your device screen using the gloves also. Also on both the devices, we do have the support of AquaTouch. So you guys don't have to worry even if your hands are wet or if you're using your device in this light drizzle. With no issues, you'll be easily able to interact with your device screen. Now let's talk about some of the AI features, what you guys will see on your OnePlus Nord series. Starting off with the gallery. So in the gallery, if you select any photo, tap on edit. Towards the left hand side, you can see we have options like AI editor. Recently on OnePlus 13 series, OnePlus did add the AI best face, but that feature is not yet available on OnePlus Nord series. But we do have options like AI recompose. Here AI will automatically find the best composition and provides you a few options. And it all depends on the photo to photo. So here you can see we have got two options. One is 1 is to 1 and the second one is 16 is to 9. And you also have some filters available which you can select from. Then we have this AI eraser feature. So here we have three options. One is the smart lasso, paint over or remove people. So if I tap on remove people, the AI will automatically analyze and give you options in one shot that whom you want to remove. So in this case, you can see it selected few people from the background. If I tap on remove all, it will hardly take few seconds and it will remove the people present in the background. And if I tap on compare, you can see the difference. Then we have the AI detail boost feature, which enhances the clarity. If I zoom in and show you guys now, you can see the subject was slightly blurred, but now after using this feature of AI detail boost, they are a lot better now. And then we have features like AI unblur and AI reflection erase. After that, there's another cool feature, which I always like. For example, if I'm editing this feature, I apply a filter and if I tap on done, Tapping on save, it will give you a pop-up and ask you two things, either replace with the original one or save a copy. And guys, don't worry if you have selected replace with the original one. Still in future, if you want to get back the original photo, just tap on edit and here you'll see an option called revert. And this will remove all the edits from that particular photo and give you the original image. Also in the smart sidebar, we do have some features. One of this is the file dock. And guys, in this, if you're using a similar account on your other OnePlus smartphones and if you place files in the file dock, everything gets synced on all the devices. Here you can save text and images. And then we have the recent file. It is very useful guys. So for example, if you have downloaded anything on your device, instead of going to the file manager and locating the file and then sending it to someone, you can directly access the recent files from the smart sidebar. And here you have both the options, images and the documents too. After that, OnePlus is adding many AI features. So for example, here I have a mail. I just have to open the smart sidebar and you'll see three options. One is AI summary, AI speak and AI writer. So using AI summary with a single click, I can have the summary of that entire email which I have received. And it works in the applications like Chrome. And after that, if you don't want to read, you just want to listen, you do have an option of AI speak. You can listen to the content present on the screen and you have an AI writer feature. Here you can provide the content, later on select tone and tap on generate. With few clicks, your email will be generated and ready to be sent. After that, similar way, we do have AI features in applications like recording. So here I have a test file. Towards the left hand side, if you see, we have an option to get the summary of this audio file. With a single click, AI will generate the summary of that entire conversation which has been recorded. It could be very useful for people who goes to college and record lectures. To get the summary of that, you can use this feature. And in the notes application also, we do have AI implemented. Towards the left hand side, you can see an AI icon. Tapping on it, you do have an options like you can change the format, you can get the cleaner version, polished version. If you want to elaborate that particular note, that can also be done and with things like short and formal and casual. After that, OnePlus have also added a new AI feature called Voice Cry. Here you can see in the smart sidebar, tapping on it, you'll see a pop-up which has three options. One is start in-app recording, start AI summary, turn on caption. And it can be very useful if you take a lot of video calls over Zoom, WhatsApp, you can record the entire conversation. Once your recording is completed, AI will automatically summarize it. And if you don't want to hear what the other person is saying, you can turn on the captions too. A very useful feature which have been added. After that, OnePlus have also added a dedicated translate app, which can also be found in the smart sidebar, but that can also be found here in the app drawer. Again, a very useful application if you travel somewhere outside, you can also use the camera application to directly translate from the live feed. Then you have an option of conversation where you can select the languages. Here we do have a lot of language options, including some regional languages too. Tapping on this icon, you can have conversation both the side. The other party can also read on the screen. And after that, we also have an option of live translation. And here you can also record the source language. In the camera application, we do have some new filters for the portrait mode and photos mode. And they are called soft light. Recently, they were added on OnePlus 13 with the July update. So these are the filters, Misty, Glowing, 
and dreamy. They are available on both portrait and photos mode. Also, OnePlus will be bringing support of third party applications in the live alert. Currently, we don't have much of applications supported. For the apps alert, we have Swiggy Zomato. And for system services, we have things like music player, game timer service, personal hotspot, screen recording. But as far as I know, with Oxygen OS 15, we'll be having support of multiple applications. And good thing on Oxygen OS 15 is, instead of having only one application in the live alert, we can have multiple applications. So that's not a restriction here on OnePlus smartphones. Also in the settings page, OnePlus have added the support of app search. For example, if I tap phone and if I scroll down, you'll see we have a new section called applications, which wasn't available previously. With the recent update, OnePlus have made this change. And after that, under connection and sharing, OnePlus is also adding this PC remote control feature. Basically, you can control your PC from anywhere around the world. You can do everything like transfer, edit files. I've done a dedicated video on this. Make sure to watch it out if you guys are new to OnePlus. The video link can be found in the description below. And then we also have things like share with iPhones. Now you can easily share the files I've also tried personally now sharing files with iPhone have become too easy and transfer is very fast along with that you can also use this touch interaction feature to share the files with iPhones and in this screenshot this is a useful setting which you can use like if you take a lot of screenshot you can enable this setting by default it's disabled which is hide status bar and navigation bar so whenever you take any screenshot this status bar and the navigation bar won't appear in your screenshot pretty useful thing and if you want you can also disable the screenshot preview along with that if you want you can also change position of the screenshot preview so for example if i take a screenshot here you can see it appears towards the left hand side if i select the right one it will appear towards the right hand side and if i disable it and now if i take a screenshot there is no preview to be displayed also oneplus have added this new feature called drag and drop which can be found here in the accessibility and convenience so here we have the feature and it will show you all the supported applications but remember you need to open the application in the splits view to use this feature of drag and drop for example i'll select this chrome application and the second application i'll select that's twitter now i can just select the text or image long press on it and drop it in the other application there you can see and like oneplus open we do have the support of oneplus canva where you can increase the size of one window while using splits mode under gesture and motion we do have the support of all the gestures like double tap to turn off the screen draw and over to open the camera application and more after that we also have this option like you can turn on torch using the volume button key by default it's disabled you can enable it anytime from here and also we do have the support of air gesture like you can control calls using the air gesture so once you're getting any call you just have to show back of your hand and later flip your hand to answer the call there we go and if you hold your hand the call will be automatically kept on silent after that you have things like rise to wake lift to ear to answer so if you have enabled this thing you don't have to you know manually answer the call just take your device near to the ear the phone will be automatically picked up and we also have options like auto switch to receiver so once this is enabled if you're talking using loudspeaker you just take your device near to the ear it will automatically switch to receiver and with the recent update oneplus have also added the ability to use two applications simultaneously one in the full screen and the second one in floating windows this change was recently added on oneplus 13 series but it's already available on oneplus Nord series and at last under system and update we do have an option called repair mode and it can be very useful if you're giving a device for service just enable repair mode and the engineer won't be able to access your data without having the access of your data he can repair your device easily so guys these are some of the features settings tips and tricks which you can use on your oneplus Nord 5 series let me know which feature you guys were not aware and which one you found exciting drop your comment in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video go, 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 go.